Hello everybody, this is Kevin back with Inspiring How You See That. So today we're back again with another Tech Tuesday and we're back with the CR6 Max 3D printer. Now, as I said in many other segments, the granted we're going over the CR6 Max, uh, a lot of printers are universal with not only the extruders, the feeds, the, uh, you know, a lot of stuff is pretty much similar. So today we're gonna be going over the basic Creality uh, spider and we had gone over this before and some of you guys had some questions about the spider um, as far as have we used it uh, can you show me a video in, in regards to replacing the spider um, and that's what we have behind us here is the existing ender basic you know the, the basic one that comes in it and wanted to show you of course we're not going to go through it's it's kind of hard to show you the intricate little parts and the the, the technique but we're going to show you how to kind of you know go through and you can remove that and talk about the spider uh, piece itself and a couple things and we're going to keep this short the good thing the reason why you want to update to something like this and uh is because of the heating this will actually heat up a lot quicker and as you see here the back side of it and the front has a thicker coverage area as far as protecting it from the the heat so what it does is as it comes through there the filament comes through it it, it feeds a lot smoother creates your 3d print in a, a smoother fashion it doesn't have a lot of bumps and a lot of issues as, you know as far as the older um, or the existing one that comes with the printer. That's that's why we always recommend these. These are about eighty dollars um, to upgrade. Make sure, and you'll see in our, our previous videos that you do upgrade uh, the tube that's right here behind us, and you'll see me switching back and forth to screens because I have this on two different screens. But you should update this to the blue tube, as I said. This is the existing tube that came with the printer, and basically, when you go through it, you'll see that you just you can take all the, the the tip heads off and everything but with this one all you'll want to do is there's just a couple bolts on your your depending upon if you have an ender or if you have a cr6 max there's just a couple few bolts here you just basically unplug it plug it in stick all your tubes back in it and it's good to go and as i said the only issue that we have and we've had questions on is when people take this uh, apart, they don't get the bolts in there tight enough and uh, they're right here or they strip them out. Just be very careful with that. And the secondly is the, you know, typically the tube. Do not use your existing tube because this is gonna get a lot warmer and then this will jam up. So you don't wanna do that. Um, <clears throat> but basically this does work great and it's a great uh, upgrade to any, any uh, 3D printer and it prints a lot better and hopefully we'll get some uh, video of you know if, if there's something you guys are looking for now when i say in a video like if we're printing something and you have a particular model of something you want to print with this and you want to see us print it um, we'll make a video that pertains to that but in the meantime we're not going to do so until we kind of know what you're looking for because i mean we could do thousands of videos and and you know those thousand videos may not help you and maybe one out of those thousand but we want to Kind of know directly from you guys what will really help uh you know within your cr6 max or your ender or whatever holdups you're having and we make a video directed to that we'll test it out we'll you know tinker with the the printer see if we can get the same issue to be caused and you know try to help you out and fix that issue so we hope you like these segments make sure you do again like and subscribe and you'll get a notification to any of the new segments that are coming out and we'll see you on the next one